friends, I am going to be doing a cumulative fall decor haul for you. I have been kind of gathering things over the last three weeks or so, I would say, maybe a month, whenever they started putting fall things in the stores. Um, because, you know, especially for things like at Dollar Tree, if you don't pick it up when you see it, chances are it'll be gone if you wait. So even though it is early in the season yet, um, I have been starting to buy things for my fall home decor. Most of these items are for projects that I have in mind that you will be seeing in future videos, hopefully, if my projects uh, pan out the way I want them to. So I went to Dollar Tree, Walmart, and then I placed an order on HobbyLobby.com. Um, and so I'm going to show you what I picked up. Now, my Dollar Tree is very small, very lame, and so many items that I have seen on other people's hauls, my store just isn't carrying. But I was able to pick up a few things, and I haven't completely given up hope yet. I do check back at Dollar Tree every time I'm in town just to see if they have new items. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started with what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. The first thing is this Hello Fall sign. It's a uh, thing that you just, like a shelf sitter or whatever. Um, you don't hang it on the wall, although I suppose you could if you really wanted to. And it's really pretty and it kind of has, I don't know if it's picking up on camera or not, but it kind of has a burlap effect to it, which I'm really loving burlap. And I love the 3D image of the white pumpkin on the front. And I do like glitter, but not massive amounts of glitter. So this has just about the right amount of glitter for me. Next item I picked up was this pumpkin. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, you could set a candle behind it and it would flick a light through. And I have a ton of pumpkins in my stash already, but um, this is one that I didn't have. I didn't have anything like this. And so I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. And then this is the last pumpkin thing I got from the Dollar Tree. It were, it's this package of three pumpkins, and um, it has a clip. They each have a clip, so you can uh, easily fasten them onto a wreath or any other kind of arrangement that you might have. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with these, but um, I thought they were unique, and even if I save them for next year, at least I'll have them, but I'm sure I'll find some way to use them this year. And then I also picked up some of these acorn decorations. They just like for basket fill or to scatter on a table. Um, and I just thought they were really pretty. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the caps on them are uh, actually real walnut. Not walnut, what am I saying? Acorn. I think those are real acorn caps. Of course, the acorn part is just styrofoam, but my brain is not working too good today, so I get words mixed up, so I'm sure a lot of women out there can understand that. And then the last thing I picked up from Dollar Tree, at least at this point, were these cute little salt and pepper shakers, little squirrels. I'm not going to be using them as salt and pepper shakers. I will be using them in my decor, probably somehow related to those acorns I picked up. So that's everything I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I'll show you what I got from HobbyLobby.com. Everything I got from Hobby Lobby was 70% off. I don't remember prices and I don't have the receipt in front of me, but everything I got was on clearance. The first thing I picked up was this really cute hedgehog. He's made of burlap and sticks and some sort of other natural material for his face. And he's absolutely adorable. Now when I ordered him online, I thought he was about half this size. Um, he was regularly $5.99 and I believe I paid like with 70% of that. So whatever 70%, I'm not doing the math. Told you my brain's not working too good right now. But anyway, I thought he was about half this size. So I went ahead and ordered two. <laughs> and um, when, they, when I opened the box up, I'm like, wow, they're pretty big size. Like there's my hand. But I thought they're so adorable. And you could use these anytime, not just 
in the fall. And then I got this gather sign. It looks like it's wood, but it's actually resin, but it does have real galvanized overlay on the front. And this is really, really cute. And this is another thing that doesn't have to just be used in the fall. I'm planning on leaving this up all the time except at Christmas time. And then the last thing I picked up from HobbyLobby.com is definitely fall and can only really be used in the fall. And it's the very popular Little Red Truck. And the reason why I say that it's um, only for fall is because of the harvest vegetables that are in the back. Um, this was normally $13.99. I got it for 70% off of that. And I just think he is the most adorable thing. I have loved the red truck ever since it became popular. I think last year is when it first came out. At least that's my recollection. It may have been earlier than that. But ever since they first came out with the red truck I have loved it and so I was very pleased to find this and this will definitely be a centerpiece in my fall decor this year everything else I picked up at Walmart and it's quite a lot a lot of um, florals so let's just get started my dogs are going crazy outside um, this is not a floral obviously um, this is the Harvest Woodland Critter, and it's a fox. I don't know why I like foxes so much since a real live fox killed my favorite rooster a couple years ago, but I just thought he was so cute, and I thought he would look really cute with those hedgehogs, and he was only $3.98. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah. $3.98, and he's got the cutest little face. And of course, you cannot have fall decor or enter into the fall season without pumpkin spice everything. And this is a pumpkin spice candle. It was $3.88 and it smells wonderful and I can't wait to start burning it. But I will hold off. I'm not gonna burn it yet. And then I picked up this flower pot. It's made out of resin and what I really liked about it specifically was the nest in the top and this cute little bird and I love the colors of the bird and, um, and then of course the autumn uh, leaves and this one I thought was a steal at two dollars and ninety eight cents so even though I think the the foliage and stuff is a little bit sparse you could spruce this up really, really easily, and it's definitely worth $3. And then I picked up some floral picks, and they were $0.98 cents a piece. I got two that were the same, this sunflower with a pine cone and berries and a wood, or not wood, a wheat, wheat shaft. And I just thought those were really, really pretty. And then I picked up this one that is kind of the same, although it has a pumpkin instead of a sunflower. It's kind of squished, but you know, I can fix that. It's got a pine cone, berries, like a eucalyptus sprig. And then the last pick I got has these acorns and pine cone, eucalyptus, and the berries. And I thought these were really nice actually for 98 cents a piece. Better than the Dollar Tree. And then I picked up this pack, two pack of Harvest, Harvest Mesh Picks for, how much was it? $2.98. And I have plans to use these uh, bows like either on a wreath or some other um, DIY project that I will be working on. And it came with two of them. I don't know if I'll use both or if I'll just use one. I picked up this galvanized and galvanized metal and wood sign. It says blessed. Um, I think it's probably a, I don't know, five by five or a six by six. And it was three dollars and ninety-eight cents. So that's another item that can stay out all year round because you're blessed all the time, not just at Thanksgiving or in the fall. 
And then this is just kind of random. I picked up some of this burlap and lace ribbon, but it's not the, like the typical burlap. I don't know if you can see that it's kind of frayed on both sides. I don't really have any plans for this, but I just thought it was really unique, and so I picked this up. And I'm not sure how much I paid for it, to be honest. I don't remember. It doesn't have a tag, tag on it. And then the last thing I picked up from Walmart was this Harvest bushel basket. And it, they had them in three different sizes, and this was the small. I may, if I can think of a use for the larger size, I might go back and get the bigger one later, but I don't like to buy things unless I have a use for them in mind because I don't just like clutter, you know. And this was $4.98. So that was my cumulative fall decor haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will stay tuned to my channel to see what I use these items for, whether it be in a DIY project or when I do my fall home decor tour. Um, so keep watching for those. They'll be coming, um, I'll have a few DIYs coming in September, and then a few, of course, in the rest of the fall, October, November. Um, so yeah, I love this time of year. It's my favorite time of the year, and I love decorating for fall. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload a video. And if you are already subscribed, double check and make sure that that bell is rung. Sometimes YouTube goes in and unsubscribes you from people um, for whatever reason, something to do with their algorithms. I don't understand it. If you like my content, just make sure that you're still subscribed to me. Thanks a lot for watching, friends, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.